Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and in this video um, I want to demonstrate the CSS property that is called Object Fit. Um, so basically uh, this one allows you to um, adjust the way that your image or video displays inside your image or video elements. Okay, so for example here we have um, this image tag or element with a target image inside of it. So we can see with no CSS on the image um, it basically is just going to expand to the full width and height of the actual image itself and obviously look pretty bad. So um, we're going to look at what the object fit uh, property does um, to assist you in, of course, uh, displaying your images correctly or in a nicer manner. All right, so let's just see real quick um, right now on this page what the current object fit value is. So um, if you go inside the computed section of your Chrome developer tools or any browser developer tools and then uh, just to a search for object fit we can see here that um, currently by default object fit is set to fill. So we're going to change the value here um, and see how it changes or how the image displaying um, changes with each property. Alright, so let's go inside the text editor and take a look at the current HTML. So basically, of course, we just have um, the image down here um, with an ID of image. Alright, so let's go inside the CSS and apply a few styles. So first off, um, let's go and say image and say a width of 400px and a height of 200px. So now, of course, if I was to save this and refresh, with the object fit set to fill, it's basically going to squish the image so it fills up the entire um, width and height you have set on the image tag. So, of course, in this case, it's going to squish the tiger and make it look pretty bad. Okay, so of course, um, the object fit property allows you to control and essentially prevent this from happening, which is really nice for things like responsive layouts or when you're just trying to make images fit and look nice in your HTML or your CSS uh, layout. All right, so let's go back inside the text editor and take a look at the first one I'm going to show you, which is called object fit. And you say object fit and then contain. So the contain value is going to maintain the aspect ratio of your image, but it's going to um, essentially uh, squish it down so it fits inside your container. So if I was to refresh this, we get this here. So now the target is, of course, back to its original aspect ratio, which looks nice. But of course, um, it's now uh, essentially centered and uh, the browser has tried its best to, of course, uh, you know, uh, size it down and center it uh, between the bounds um, of your image tag. So here we have these two side borders, which, of course, is the image tag. Um, uh, container or uh, boundaries. All right, so um, this may work for you. It might be the best solution in your scenario, but I think uh, there is one more which is a bit more popular. But first, I just want to uh, go back inside here and set the background of this to be something like red. I'm going to save this and refresh, and now it's a bit clear to see what's actually happening here. So, of course, the image tag is still uh, 200 by 400. Um, but the image is scaled down. So let's take a look at the second value and this is called uh, cover. So this one here I use um, basically anytime I use the object fit property and this one is going to still maintain your aspect ratio but it's going to essentially uh, try to make the image fill up the entire space and clip off anything else. So let's go back inside here and refresh we can see now the tiger has maintained its aspect ratio, but it has clipped off some of the top and the bottom of the image. Okay, so um, this one is probably the most popular um, uh, version or most popular value to set on your object fit uh, property um, just for how well it works for um, mobile responsiveness or just responsiveness in general. Um, so, for example, if I want to make this image the entire width of this page, I can. So, let's go back inside here and say a width of 100%. I can save this and refresh. Um, now, the target is clipped even more, of course, but it still looks nice. 
the aspect ratio is still maintained and overall I think it looks better of course than having the squish tiger so if I was to uh, expand this it all fits still uh, nice and well so definitely here um, the cover value is definitely good uh, for mobile responsiveness and making everything look nice no matter what um, resolution or width and height your um, your user's browser is all right and uh, there is actually two more properties uh, values sorry on the object fit property but um, I can't find too much use for those so um, those are the two main object fit values um, that I find useful uh, with CSS all right thanks for watching and I'll see you later.